Hello and welcome to episode two of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how to get your unique Evernote email address. Now, there is a very good reason for getting your unique Evernote email address is, and that is because Quite often we want to send uh, reference emails, we might want to send web pages we view on our iPhone or iPad or, or, or your Android phone or whatever, uh, or even if you were just browsing a web and you just wanted to quickly send um, a web page directly to your Evernote. And to do this is, uh, what you need to do is to go into the settings down at the bottom here and it doesn't say settings but you just have to click on the settings and go into settings and you'll get your account summary here now i'm using a basic account um just for demonstration in the early stages once we get moving into the more power users i'm going to shift into my regular account but for now i just want to show you my demo account and down here it says email notes tour and you can get your unique email address and all you need to do is uh, copy and save that so you can just copy it and then save it into your contacts under Evernote so basically I'll show you how what happens here if I click on that it'll create a um, an email and I can send test and just send that directly to my uh, Evernote account and what will happen is it'll go into my default um, my default Evernote inbox, which is set up as my default, and then sure enough, there it is, it's come in. So if I go into my notebooks here, what you can do is you can actually see inbox one note, and it's come in with that test. Uh, so that's fantastic. I can actually just create, um, send anything there, web pages, you name it, boom, it can just go straight there. And it's a really, really useful feature. Also, if you remember, um, there is something else I should actually set up, uh, explain to you about the, the notebooks here. You can set any of these as your default notebook. Now, my inbox is already set up as a default, so I don't get the option here. But if I go back to my um, other notebook, so if we click on notebook here, I go into my work notebook, and let's just say I wanted to create that as my default notebook. What you'll notice is down here, if you tick that box, it will set this notebook as your default. However, I strongly recommend for um, organizational purposes, you don't do that. You just keep the default as your inbox because on a weekly basis, when you're doing your weekly review, if you're a GTD follower, and I hope most of you are, uh, one of the actions that you will have is process Evernote inbox and having that as your default for every document to go is really really um, important because you don't want to be going through many many different notebooks just trying to find out what you created this week okay i hope that's been useful for you uh, again another short video but what i really want to do is get these basic uh things about never know out of the way first and before we move into more of the power user features so just to remind you, to get your unique Evernote email address, and it doesn't matter which version of e Evernote you're using, you could be using, uh, as I am here, the basic version for my demo version, or you could be using the premium version, which I have on my main e uh, Evernote account. All you do is go down to the bottom here, click on account, go into settings, and down here uh, at the bottom, it says email notes to, and these email notes will go, they can be notes, pictures, audio clips, whatever, into your account. Email notes will go directly into your default notebook, which is why you need to make sure that your inbox is set as your default notebook. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Uh, again, if you have any questions about the notebooks or about your email address, or if you have any tips for other people, please, please leave a note in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to uh, cover that in future episodes. Have a wonderful week and make sure it's productive.